to the video today with farming shaper i thought i'd do these videos a little bit more detailed a little bit more higher quality so we are offering a few little tips and insights as well as just showing you the farming itself so to begin a shaper set ranges from 40 to 45c if you buy on poe trade in bulk if you want to buy the fragments individually that's 39c it takes a little bit more time but in this game people will willingly spend five extra chaos to avoid five or four trades so that is an option to remember if you're new uh, buying things individually is nine times out of ten going to be cheaper than bulk the drops it has a star forge ranging from 30c to an exalt and the best val outcome we're unsure on the potential best outcome most that have been valed are six links probably the best unlinked outcome is going to be attack speed or resolute technique the second drop is a new one the solstice vigil it's an amulet 120c to an exalt you can val these for an additional curse that comes in at 50 exalts and there are other expensive ones you can get attack speed resistance uh, to all uh, these can range from the 3 to 10 exalts the shapers touch gloves are 3c a very common drop they basically drop every single time the best val outcome you can get at the time of recording is elemental weakness on hit and this goes for three exalts the next drop are void walk boots these are one chaos orb now recently there has been a, a build guide which involves fossil farming where you speed run and as these boots provide phasing on kill uh, if you can val them for movement speed on top of their already uh, explicit movement speed they can sell for two exalts the last pure unique drop is going to be a dying sun flask these are one exalt but remember exalts right now are 190 chaos there is no good val outcome you don't val flasks interestingly enough this league um there are some rares that actually sell two-tone boots even as a normal base i level 86 are going for 1.5 exalts which is odd um so do bear that in mind that that is an odd price but yeah they are going for 1.5 exalts which i've not seen before and other bases such as source boots go for 10c there are val regalias and these prices are going to fluctuate a lot but there are some potential normal items that can drop with a high eye level that can be worth uh, the val outcome is going to be nothing good moving on to the actual farming process thought i'd talk to you about shaper itself and sort of what you can do there's four shaper guardians inside the zone these are going to be based on map bosses and they're going to hold the same mechanics of what you've seen now as we spoke about these guardians can drop eye level 86 bases uh, that are going to be useful for crafting and these can be picked up and sold uh, once you've defeated the four guardians you can go and fight shaper the first phase and the second phase are going to drop no loot profit is going to be the last stage of shaper dropping something good or picking up loot from the mini guardians or at the end um, there's going to be no profit in these phases one and two uh, in between phase one and two you're going to encounter some monsters uh, these monsters do not drop any loot these are purely to fill up your flask and as you make your way to shaper uh, shaper slowly heals so you want to get through this zone as quickly as you can he heals a lot less um, interestingly though some zones can contain chests however these chests such as these sarcophaguses struggling with that word are only eye level 83 and will not be worth your time so basically the same principle happens yeah items can drop in this little area but they're going to be low eye level and they're not going to be worth anything the mini bosses also do not drop loot so again your profit's going to be from the guardian drops the shaper drops uh, and none of these bosses matter they're just gateways to actually killing the shaper after killing you know four or five random uh, guardians and farming shaper you, you might actually come across a base that sells you know you, you can have a look through the items and see if anything drops this time nothing dropped um, and again the the guardians are randomized sometimes you'll get the spider sometimes you'll get rigwald sometimes they might drop a pair of two-tone boots sometimes they might drop just a pair of sorcery gloves that are worth two to three chaos might be worth a little bit more earlier on in the league or they might drop something interesting so sometimes i actually turn my loot filter off and do have a look at the bases whilst farming so from our 12 runs we gained about 45c which is oddly high for this stage of the league sorcery gloves are going to be 2c your lion pelts 3c your source boots are going to be 10c at the time of recording um, so there is a little bit of extra profit to be made 
if you want to have a look. So the general tips for when you kill in Shaper, in this phase, in the bullet phase, you, you just want to stay in the red circle. When he beams, that's your cue to deal damage. It's a very, very simple fight. I thought I'd just include a few little tips if for some reason you're struggling. An example, when he slams, you just move out of the way, you go back, and you get in melee range, and then you deal damage. When he melee ranges, he can only melee you. He won't be doing any ball phases. And again, if you're really struggling with damage, you can pop the balls that chase you on the edge of the screen. So, we'll move on to the drops for the day. We did 12 shape runs. Uh, this was from all our guardian farming. We figured we may as well run the shape of things. And we'll show you and keep a running total of what we got. Initially, we got gloves and boots. Gloves been the most common. Boots been the second most common. Then I would honestly say, in my own opinion, that flask is the third most common. And starforge is the least common. However, it's not worth very much as it's kind of fallen out of the meta right now with other things being more prominent however it's still a very very good item it can complete the entire game and it's very cheap for what it does finally get a flask and as you can see in my inventory there i did have a pair of source boots so general ideas and things i, I have been enjoying making the daily videos interestingly now we get an amulet this is the first one i've ever had i haven't farmed shaper for a long time and this is the first time actually doing it next one is going to be gloves again they're a common drop so once we've collected all our drops and and things we will end up valing these in another video um, and seeing exactly the outcome that we get we are already got another ruby flask and from my own personal experience of farming shaper over the leagues right now i feel like i'm getting quite lucky um i'm actually getting almost more boots than gloves even though boots aren't worth as much um just by the drop table they should be a lot rarer than gloves but i am getting a lot of boots and currently we're up to two exalts 132 chaos and remember an exalt at the time of recording is going from anything to 200 chaos sometimes in the league a dying sun will be worth five exalts but exalts are only worth 80 c sometimes they're worth three exalts and exalts are worth 120 c so always your prices are going to fluctuate uh, and rng is going to be rng i'm not trying to showcase here some drop table ratios or trying to tell you how rare something is because i'm only doing 12 runs and as reddit would like to say it's not enough sample size we do however get a tabula and interestingly to note you can get shaper bases drop which obviously will increase your profit from the shaper so coming to the end we actually did 12 runs the drops total to three exalts 156 chaos our eye level gear is worth 45 c and that is actual sellable bases that comes to a total of 726 c the cost of the sets is 468 c which gives us an outcome of a profit of 256 c roughly an exalt and a half at the time of recording i felt like i got quite lucky in this uh having three flask drops and an amulet is very rare but i just wanted to show you and give you some ideas of what i've been doing um, as i haven't been streaming too much so plans for future content is i am enjoying making videos and obviously all your support helps um we've had followers subs bits donations and all those things are i i don't ask for them i don't beg for them but they obviously help. They keep me motivated. They make it more fun. Um, but I'm always going to be making the videos here regardless. Um, this league, I think we've made roughly 40 videos. Um, it's probably been, been the most active uh, <laughs> my channel has seen in a while. And it's because I've been enjoying the game so much. The footage you're seeing here in the background is just me running some maps with, with what I call juice. Um, so what I will do is to farm the sulfite for the delves. I will just put every sextant on I can, roll them to be really good. Uh, fragments, you know, quality, val, chisel, all that good stuff. And it really does increase the level of fun. And playing a fully juiced up map compared to playing a bog standard map, the difference is night and day. Um, and I think that that's what makes PoE so appealing, is if you do reach a level of in-game currency, where you're comfortable to just constantly drop currency on a map and not 
have to worry about oh will i get a return will i not the experience is just so much more fun obviously not every league is going to be like this this league i've been incredibly lucky and i do intend to make a video of sort of showcasing all of the drops towards the end of the league and i do have one more big crafting video in me so the content for path of exile is slightly slowing up as i come to an end of the league and i avoid burnout but i just wanted to i guess take a couple minutes out just to say i, I really do appreciate this support it's been it's been a really fun league um normally i've quit a league after a month i basically grind for two weeks in the lab do a build kill some end game content and get bored and quit however this league maybe it's due to the reworks of master missions and crafting um, i found the league to be much more enjoyable and as a result i've stuck around and made some content if you've enjoyed it as always give it a thumbs up give it a like it costs nothing and it goes a long way and also yeah this isn't to make anybody feel like sorry or anything for me like that I, i'm not asking for that i'm not looking for sympathy uh, i'm just saying that a lot of the time because i don't have a video editor because i have to record these videos manually in shadow play um, sometimes they do take a long time i can't just string out a video instantly last night i was up till five in the morning editing voicing and basically yeah, making this video so a lot of the time it is very long and sometimes yeah i do get a little bit demoralized when i sit on zero views uh, that's just human nature but i don't feel sorry for myself or anything like that i'm just enjoying making the videos if anybody wants to join me on the journey then they are more than free to do so and we will continue to make videos and probably continue to have good fun in Path of Exile, I hope, in the new league. So thanks very much. Hopefully you're having a good day. I'll catch you tomorrow.